I think it's just something that like we've never really explored before. Like, or at least we've tried, but we're like our idea of what's sexy is just like that sweat, that giant baggy sweater is super hot. Just like, but that's for most people, it's not so sexy. But I think sort of the references that we're kind of making already had those elements inside them. And I think kind of understanding it through that context, it was easier for us to kind of play around with the idea of well, and sexiness think, and clothing. Yeah, and I think from a, you know, a, another perspective, we've just been thinking a lot about lightening up kind of materials too. And I think what we're drawn to right now is like a kind of more of a lightness. And I think that lends itself to that really perfectly too. It, it was mostly kind of looking at like um, different moments in American culture, like through like a, like a 70s psychedelic lens. So looking at like Art Deco, like kind of like 70s Deco revival references pulled from music too and you know, black light posters and rock posters from the late 60s and early 70s like in some of the graphics and the I mean we explore that sort of era very pretty consistently but I think we've never explored it from this angle so much it was really the focus was like beautiful pieces and it wasn't so much of a piece that can you know add to a narrative it was really like how you can piece those things together to make a narrative so cool this is Creatures of the Wind make sure to follow Sax at the shows